Hello, this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com, and we have another After Effects 5 minute tutorial. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be sure that you'll receive all the latest updates and videos that I post. This video is going to be on using effects and, of course, animating things in After Effects. I've got some footage already imported into my project, and this is of a deer, and I can play through this really quickly. Let's scrub. And you can see the deer is moving around. That's all nice and dandy. And what I want to do is first I want to be able to preview this a little bit faster. This is high definition footage. So right here it says full. And that's the resolution that it's, it's playing at. So I want to switch that from full to half. And then that'll preview a lot faster. So, but I want to add some effects to it. Now what kind of effects can you do in After Effects? Well, pretty much anything you can think of. I'm going to first start with color correcting. So I've got my layer selected in the timeline view. Make sure it's selected. Go up to the top where it says effect. And then there's all sorts of effects. Now you may not have the same effects I have. I have some third party plugins. So if some of these things you won't have in yours if you don't have the third party plugins. But all the effects I'm going to be using in these tutorials are going to be first party plugins that come with After Effects. So first in color correction, I can go in and I can apply a curves adjustment. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, then you'll be familiar with curves. And what I can do here is I can, in my curves adjustment box, I can bring down the darks, bring up the lights, the highlights, and increase the contrast. Now say, oh, I don't like that, I can click on reset and it brings it back to normal. I want to go in just to, say, the green channel and I can bring just the greens down just a tad bring some of the blues up and it kinda looks like an early morning kinda early morning there's a little bit of a sunset kinda going on it's still early and kind of a bluish tint so that's some things you can do with that effect now let's take a look at some of these other effects there are lots and lots of effects so let's just take a look and you're gonna have to go through and look at all these effects yourself because Honestly, there's so many of them that we don't have time for. So, in order to do keyframing, again, you need two points. The beginning point and the end point. And they need to be different. So you need to change a parameter from one keyframe to the next. Again, like I said, pretty much everything you can. But let's look at opacity. Now, opacity is your transparency. So I'm going to keyframe that. And I want that to be at zero at the beginning. And then I'll go to one second and then I'll bring that up to 100% and what will happen is it'll fade from 0 to 100% over one second. Pretty good. Also we can change the scale so we can keyframe that. So what I did there is right at 100% for the opacity I clicked on the keyframe for scale and then I'm going to go back in time to where it it says 0% for opacity. I'm going to bring this scale down to 0. And it'll scale up at the same time as it's fading in. So there's another example of animation. So, and the third one is position that I'm going to talk about. So again, I want to turn on the stopwatch position. Now, one thing that some people do is they'll do that and then they'll go in and they'll change the position and then they think that they need to hit the stopwatch again. But when I do that, it'll turn off the keyframes and I lost that original keyframe. So I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that. It already makes the keyframe when you make a change. And so what it's doing, it's moving from along this line. It starts here and then it scales up as it moves over to the center point. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at a couple more effects. We can go in and add some noise to make it look like really grainy footage. We can go in and do a mosaic, change the amount of horizontal and vertical blocks. So that has been the five minute or less After Effects tutorial on using effects and a little bit of animation. 
If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and make sure you like the video.